Welcome YouTube. Um, this is kind of a, a new thing for me. I've never really done something like this. Uh, usually I'm doing like a picnic with my Tesla or doing something with my Tesla or driving and you guys can kind of like see uh, what I'm doing. But uh, in this video, I kind of want to review or go over the new uh, the, the new news from Tesla. It's about the, uh, the P100D and uh, it's pretty awesome news because now we're, we actually have an electric car, an all-battery car that goes over 300 miles. And uh, so I kind of want to go go over a little bit of the specs, which you guys can read online at Tesla.com. Um, and I got a phone call. So I mean, I mean the specs are pretty awesome. You're looking at the the Model S, and we'll get right into it. The Model S is like the flagship of Tesla. It's like the the iPhone it's the uh, it's the big iPhone it's the iPhone plus as far as I'm concerned right and uh, it's the flagship it's it's got 315 miles of range the new p100d it's got 315 miles of range which is amazing um, it goes the top speed of one 155 miles per hour and uh, it can go 2.5 seconds in the 60 so it goes 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds that's pretty amazing um, reading online is basically saying it's the fastest in production car. So there's two other cars, the the Ferrari and the Porsche 918, both million dollar cars, which most of us aren't, you know, buying those. And uh, but those cars are no longer in production. So what's it cost? What's a P100D cost? The flagship um, out of the box. You're gonna you're gonna pay 134.5, so $134,500. Now, what's that include? That basically gets you everything you normally would get um, standard with the Model S, and then you also get your 100 kilowatt hour battery. Um, but also, you get the ludicrous mode and the smart smarter suspension that automatically comes in that package. I would hope it would because you're spending all that money, but you don't get autopilot. So for $134,500, you're getting that big battery, you're getting ludicrous mode, you're getting the smart air uh, suspension, all that stuff. Um, you're getting 2.5 seconds, zero to 60, which is awesome. But you're not getting the autopilot. If you want autopilot, you gotta spend $3,000 more. But heck, if you're already spending $134,000, $3,000 is nothing, right? So you're gonna, you're looking about 138 grand for this top, top car. Now, obviously, that's not something I would buy. Um, I'm just looking in my car. I got the 70. I'm looking at a, uh, 240 miles of range, which is beautiful for me. 300 miles would be nice, but you know that's a lot of money to spend. And you're going to see a lot of people buy the 100 just because of the fact that it does have range and it is the fastest. A lot of your car enthusiasts that do drag racing are going to buy this car because of the fact that you know they have the money and they want to. Um, put it on YouTube, you know, racing a Lamborghini, racing a Bugatti or whatever, and uh, the 2.5 is going to smoke it for the most part. So that's actually the Model S. Now we're we're looking at the Model X as well. You know, the Falcon Wing door. I call it the iPad of uh, I call it the iPad of um, of vehicles, right? So um, you figure the iPhone is the uh, is the flagship of of Apple, the iPad is basically like just like an iPhone but bigger. You, know, you got the Falcon Wing doors and the Model X. That's why I call it the iPad. It basically does exactly the same thing as the iPhone, but it's got a little bit more and it's a little heavier, right? So, alrighty, tons of phone calls. It's crazy. All right, so in the Model X, it's not going to be as fast. Um, it is a little heavier, so and you're not going to get as much range. You're getting a 289 miles of range. Um, and I'm going to show a picture like when I go over the specs I'll show a picture up here somewhere where you guys can see the actual specs themselves and obviously you can read this online as well it's got 289 miles of range it does go the same exact top speed 155 miles an hour at top speed but it, it goes to 0 to 60 in 2.9 miles uh, 2.9 seconds so I mean it's still pretty fast for an SUV I mean 2.9 seconds 0 to 60 I mean that's amazing an SUV going, going that fast I couldn't imagine it. Um, you know, when you buy the P100D with the Model X, you're getting the ludicrous mode, you're getting smarter suspension, you also get the active spoiler. So that's part of the whole package deal. I know a lot of people were wondering, like, if I get if I get this hundred this hundred kilowatt hour battery, like, do I have to buy ludicrous? Um, does it go 
2.9 or 2.5 seconds right out of the box. Well, it does. If you buy the P100D and both the X and the S, you're getting ludicrous mode built into that already. Um, you get the smarter suspension, and also you get the active spoiler, the spoiler that kind of lifts up as you're driving and it kind of tucks back in once you park. Um, that's 135500 out of the box, only $1,000 more than the P100D Model S, which is pretty interesting. And then your autopilot is an extra 3000 Again, what's $3,000 when you spend 135 So you're about $138,500, um, $137,500 with the Model S, $138,500 with the Model X. Now compare, comparing those, or these, to their lower, the lower end uh, versions of the Model S and X. The, 60, the, the Model S comes with, in a 60 back-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive car. That's 68.5. And you're looking at about uh, $71,000 with autopilot. And then the 60D, because uh, the Model X only comes in dual motor, um, you're looking at 76.5 or $79,000 with autopilot. So that's, there's the price difference between the two. And uh, the reason I'm doing this video is just kind of give you guys my opinion about... Oh, the hundred, you know, the hundred kilowatt hour battery is it something that is is groundbreaking? It really isn't. I mean, obviously they just took the ninety battery and made it and expanded it more, but it is amazing that we have a vehicle now that's a battery power vehicle that goes over three hundred miles, three hundred and fifteen miles if you have the Model S. That's pretty amazing. But uh, I mean, when you're buying the hundred D, like, is it something you should get? Like. I was kind of thinking about it because I have I have the 70 and then people actually buy it can buy the 60 version of, of the Model S but when you buy the 60 or the 70 it automatically comes with a 75 kilowatt hour battery built into it so like is Tesla going to um, start manufacturing this 100 kilowatt hour battery and then put it into your 90s put it into the 85s and then like you know software limiting the you know what how much battery you can use that would be amazing so when I get to 100 at that point I I would actually kind of wait and say maybe I'll get a 90 and see if if people are fine if the hundreds in there and then the cool thing about that which I've learned with my car is I can actually charge my car to pretty much a hundred percent of the battery and not worry that I'm going to degrade my battery because I have a 75 in this car so I'm wondering if like if they actually have a hundred and a 90 or 185 and you guys buy those vehicles instead because you're gonna spend the money anyways you're you know, obviously, you're spending on an 85 or a 90, you're still spending an obscene amount of money, but you know, you spend ten thousand dollars more to get the hundred, or do you just stay at the 90, save a little bit of money, but knowing that you can charge your 90 to its almost full capacity um, of the 90 um, and and still be okay? I don't know if that's going to be happening, but I mean, if they follow suit the way they did with the 60 and the 75, that's pretty or 60 and the 70, that's pretty cool. Something to think about, also, like. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys are aware too, like if you have an existing, it has to be a P, a Performance 90D. If you have a Performance 90D and you, an existing one, you're driving it around now, they'll let you upgrade it to the P100D, but it costs $20,000. Um, hey, if you got extra $20,000 laying around, whatever, right? And then also if you have a car that's in production, a uh, P90D in production, you can upgrade for $10,000. So they're basically just gonna pull that battery pack out Put you, put you in the 100 and, and then change your badging. The reason why the existing one costs so much more money is they actually have to take your existing battery and recycle it, you know? So, uh, but uh, I don't know. Um, the I think the P100D is a, an awesome idea. I'm glad that they came out with it because it, you know, puts Tesla on the map with a vehicle that goes way over 300 miles or 15 miles over 300 miles range on one charge. Um, I think it's cool that they're saying, hey, this car is the fastest production car, in production car now. Um, the third fastest car ever made, but the third fat, you know, the first, um, I think it's the fastest electric car ever made, right? So, um, so I don't know, That's this is my video. If you guys like um, the ideas or the stuff I, I've, I've given to you guys, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. If you like my content, go ahead and subscribe. And let me let me know what you think in the, con in the, in the comments down below about the 100. Like, is this something that you guys think is, uh, groundbreaking is it something that uh, uh, everybody should be like uh, getting excited about um, I think I'm excited for the model 3 coming up that's for sure uh, we have one reserved I think that uh, the more uh, model S is next as they sell and the more the battery technology gets better and they ramp up their batteries the, the better the model 3 is gonna be I'm excited for that so all right guys we'll see you later peace take care look no hands if you like Tesla Tim, 
go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.